Hey guys, welcome back to Luki Studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install new filaments into a reusable spool. As a matter of fact, I almost used up all of my white basic PLA filament, so instead of buying a brand new spool, I bought this rifle instead. I will also show you how I rifle the filament into a 3D printed spool, so make sure you watch this video till the end. So let's get right to it. First, you twist this open by rotating one half of the spool anti-clockwise. Remove this cardboard roll of the previous filament. Unpack your new filament and grab the spool which has this tiny tab on it. There is this little notch on the cardboard roll of the refill filament, so you want to line that up with that tiny tab on the spool and slide the filament roll in place. Grab another half of the spool and insert that in while rotating it slightly until it kinda slides in. You then rotate it clockwise until you hear a slight click. Now I like to use this filament holder to hold down the end of the filament. Then you want to cut off all the plastic strips or just peel them off to remove them. And we're done! It's super easy and quick to do it. That literally took me like 2 minutes. If you don't have an empty spool, you can buy them from Bamboo Lab which can cost like 10 to 12 dollars or print the spool on your own to save some money. In fact, Bamboo Lab even provides a printable 3D model of their own spool on Maker World and you can find a lot of cool print profiles for the spools created by other users, so just pick the one that works for you. Since I have an A1 Mini, there aren't a lot of print profiles to choose from, but let's choose this one made by Takari and head over to the printer to print it. Now let's install this red filament into this pool and see how it goes. I expect this to be as easy and as fast as if I were to install the filaments into the original Bamboo Lab spool. So the principle is the same, you line up the notch with that small tab. Insert the other half in, rotate it clockwise until it snaps in place. Remove the plastic strips and we're done. That looks pretty good. Now let's mount the spool onto the AMS light and do a quick print test. Printing your own spool might be an option for those who buy refill filaments from Bamboo Lab. It is surely more economical this way. I printed this spool with PLA and this took about 120 grams of filaments and 5 hours to print. So let's say I paid $20 for this spool, 100 grams of filaments is $1.20 and 5 hours of printing cost me somewhere around 20 to 30 cents, at least where I live. And honestly, a 3D printed spool for less than $2 doesn't sound that bad. I know that you only pay $2 more if you buy the refill with the spool, but where I live, bamboo lab filaments are so hard to get since they are always out of stock and sometimes only the refills are available for a short amount of time, so you kinda have to get them before they run out of stock again. I don't know if you have the same problem where you live, so if that's the case, please let me know in the comments below. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys and as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one.